So I'm John Batum. This is Trailers from Hell. We're going to take a look at Anatomy of a Murder, one of the best films of 1959. Hey, hey, hey. There is a new movie coming to this town. All those involved in this film will now be sworn in. One of the most fun things about this trailer is it's one of the first times that, uh, other than Alfred Hitchcock, a director is putting himself in the trailer as I'm this famous guy. I guess Cecil B. DeMille did it uh, several times. But here, Preminger has come up with the rather cute conceit, too cute for my taste, of swearing in the different actors. And he brings them up and they stand in front of him. Now, if you notice, they're all a lot shorter than Otto Preminger. I mean, by a big deal. That's because Otto Preminger is standing on a platform about this tall and towering over Jimmy Stewart and George C. Scott and poor Joseph Welch, who didn't know how he was being had by this big Hollywood bully. But also a justice of the Supreme Court of Michigan, didn't you supervise every single legal detail in the film? Yes, Otto, but you don't have a jury. Oh, that, you see, John. Our jury is not just 12 men and women in the fox. Our judge and jury sits out there, millions and millions of people in the theaters. So Anatomy of a Murder may be the best courtroom movie ever made. You know all those law and orders that they run 24-7 on TV? Well, you can blame it on Anatomy of a Murder that was based on a real crime and a real trial in Michigan. Your corn cob is on the jury. You're a liar! You're a lousy, stinking liar! Oh, could, could Mom have a little in that ashtray, maybe? He loves beer. You want a beer for the dog? Mm-hmm. There we are. Seven Academy Award nominations, AFI Best Courtroom Movies, Jimmy Stewart, a very sexy Lee Remick, and a youthful George C. Scott, and the most celebrated lawyer of the decade, Joseph Welch. He was the only guy who dared to stand up to Senator Joe McCarthy when the rest of America cowered in fear. And his reprimand of Senator McCarthy on national TV was shockingly brave. You remember, have you no decency, sir? At long last, have you left no decency? That started the toppling of this bully who died of alcoholism shortly after. Now, Otto Preminger, the director who could be a bit of a bully himself, was a brilliant showman who pushed the envelope on all his films. And he was always at war with the censors of the infamous Hayes office. Anatomy of a murder dared to explore the taboo subject of rape. Ooh. And despite the Hayes office threats of congressional action, Preminger presented the story as it happened in all its sordid details. And if that's not enough, the music was the first original film score done by an African-American, Duke Ellington, who won two Grammys for his score. For those who can stand straight talk, Time magazine. Well, uh, doesn't a woman sort of instinctively know when a fellow's on the make? Oh, sure. But that's only usual with me. With men, I mean. Almost all men, ever since I was a kid. Did you cry out? Did you scream? Didn't seem to be much use out there in the woods. And this is what other critics said. As tense and thrilling a shocker as has come along in years. Life magazine. On every count, one of the best films of the year. New York Herald Tribune. Sacco Cinema, don't miss Anatomy of a Murder. But at the end of the day, Jimmy Stewart's portrayal of the lawyer who outfoxes the slick city lawyer, George C. Scott, is the one that really carries the movie. Is that because you know that Barney Quill bathed and changed and cooled off after he raped and beat hell out of this poor woman? Your Honor, everybody in this court is being tried except Frederick Mannion. I must protect Now listen, this is a cross-examination of a murder case. It's not a high school debate. What are you and Dancer trying to do? Railroad this soldier into the clink? And you wind up left with the eerie feeling that TV courtroom drama writers are still picking over this movie looking to rip off new ideas.